All right, all right, all right. Peep this out, guys. We are live. What is going on, everybody? We'll give everybody just a few minutes to uh, jump in here. Looks like everything is looking good and sounding good. Everything stream health wise is looking solid. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see who we've got over here in the chat. I'm going to jump on over, see what we've got going. So far, so good. Very, very nice. Great to see you guys. Great to see you guys. If you're catching this on the replay, thanks so much for jumping on. Sammy, what's going on? Great to see you. Randy Molina in the house as well. Welcome, welcome. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. And if you can hear me, uh, actually see me okay as well, that would be great. Ian Gibson, what's doing? Shout out, Danielle. What's going on? Peep this out, Danielle. You're on the live stream right now. This is awesome here for December 4th. We got everybody jumping into the chat. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up as soon as you pop on in. We'll get started in just a few seconds here. Great to see you all. Neon, Chad, Robert makes the cut. Guadalupe Ortiz, great to see you as well. Shelly George, thanks so much. Everything is looking good and sounding good. Nice. Are we bright enough? Is it dark enough? Is it like in the middle? Want to make sure you guys can see the uh, red and green behind me here for the holidays. Pablo, great to see you as well. Michael Domeyer, thanks so much for jumping on. Great to see you. Great to see you. Maureen from San Diego, nice to see you as well. Thanks so much for jumping on. I'm up here in Pasadena, about maybe three or so hours away from you, technically, with traffic. <laughs> thanks so much for jumping on. Thomas Mordell, thanks so much as well. Great to see you guys on here. It's great to see everybody. Love food like I do with all the hand claps. Thanks so much. Give, you guys, give yourselves a round of applause for jumping on the stream tonight. I appreciate you being here. Drew, Friday situation. You already know what it is. We got 30 peeps jumping up quickly. Actually, I can see it. I'm pointing to what I can see on my stream software right over here. So I appreciate you guys. We've only got 11 thumbs up. We'll get started in just a few seconds. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below. Share the stream out with all the peeps that you know. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, reviews tonight. Pablo, how's it? I'm doing well, doing well. A little cold, I got to be honest. Uh, but thankfully, considering what it was like about maybe three or so months ago, I'll take it because it was crazy. I mean, LA was on fire, it felt like. I mean, it was technically. Uh, but uh, great to be on here with you guys, regardless of the weather right now. Tony Rocha, thanks so much for, for jumping on. Food and Conversations with Iraq. What's up, brother? Love from, from Las Vegas. Nice. Thanks so much for jumping on, my friend. I appreciate you. I wish I can come on out to your city. Boy, believe me. I can't wait for things to get back to normal. I miss Vegas. Definitely fun stuff over there. Brian Olson, Nehemiah Sanders. Thanks so much for jumping on. Here we go. Let's get it started from Drew's Food Reviews. Andrew. Thanks so much for jumping on as well. Pablo loves Disney. I agree. David P, let the good times roll. With all of you guys here right now, it most definitely will be. Absolutely. You guys make the world go around here on the channel and, of course, the community. And I appreciate you guys greatly. Thanks so much for jumping. Robert makes the cut saying hello to Andrew. And we've got Randy Molina checking everybody out here in the chat. I always say I've got some of the best amazing people in the community here uh, when we, whenever we jump on these lives. So I appreciate you guys interacting with each other. Keeping that camaraderie going there. That's what it's all about. Familia, mi familia. You already know what it is. Uh, let's see. Yes, Pablo, you already know I do not have a hamster. <laughs> Gerard Mullins, good evening to you as well. Thanks so much for jumping on. We got Paul, Critical East, for, uh, Critical East Japan is in the house as well. Greetings on the other side of the planet, my friend, technically. Thanks so much for jumping on right now. Great to see you. Always a pleasure. A little cold, try 39 degrees in Detroit. Wow, it's about 44 right now. So I guess we're not too far off, Mike. <laughs> we're not too far off from you right now. Uh, let's see, Maureen, when is your wife going to join you on your food reviews? You and your wife are such a cute couple. I appreciate you. You know, I've been trying to get her to do a few things uh, review wise here, but she's just not into it like she was in the very, very beginning. Some of my early videos way back in the day, um, naturally that's gonna be where you're going to see most of the content, usually from Disney. But if you take a look, we've got stuff from uh, the uh, patio um, in Santa Monica, which was actually really cool. Actually, down on PCH, it was a fish place, one of the first places that we went. Um, and naturally, all the Disney videos and a few little miscellaneous things, but mostly Disney. So I, I hear you. I'm trying to you know, get things back to normal. But considering things are a little far from that right now, uh, we're going to have to wait there. But Jared Mullins, thanks so much for uh, for letting me know pronounced Jared. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hope I didn't butcher your name that first time there, but thanks so much for jumping on. Uh, let's see here. Who else we got? Candace Cherry's in the house as well. Thanks so much for jumping on here. Marilyn Sullivan, thank you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. 
Food and Conversation from Iraq reviews local spots in Vegas. If you want to peep out my channel, nice. Very, very cool. I will definitely check that and see what you've got going over there. If you want to send me a direct message too, or even when you, if you're watching this on the replay, you know, just drop those channel links or something down into the uh, the chat there. I, there's a, typically a strong spam filter on my channel, but if it's something like that, I'll see if I could leave it uh, as well. But you can always send it to me on a direct message as well too there. I'd love to check it out for sure. Yes, Robert makes the cut. Michael Beam was on The Mandalorian last week. I couldn't believe it. I'm going to be watching the new episode um, after the stream later on tonight. Uh, I'm excited for it, so I can't wait. But I couldn't believe that. I didn't realize that was Michael Bean until like the second act where he was actually doing a little bit more of a speaking role for some reason. I didn't pick up on it initially. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Very cool episode. Obviously, uh, with Ahsoka Tano, it was really, really cool uh, as well. Armando, shout out to the Taste of Monrovia Festival. Yes, I know. I know. It's uh, Those are all canceled this year. Just about everything is in terms of those types of uh, events. Much less outdoor dining here in California. It's pretty crazy over here right now. And I got to tell you, it's kind of put a little crimp uh, into just the atmosphere being out. I got to be honest, it's been a little, little rough. Thankfully, I'm always a little bit ahead of the game in terms of what I'm doing content-wise to film. Um, but I'm glad I have things in the can that I can work on this weekend, actually. So... Um, it's a little bit of a, an interesting situation here with our, uh, our governor and everything that's going on. So things are getting pretty crazy. So, uh, but we're right around the end of the uh, line in terms of getting, moving on to, you know, vaccine stuff and, you know, things will hopefully uh, be happening here into the new year. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but let's see who else we've got on here right now. E Ricard, Elizabeth, thanks so much for jumping on here, but another minute we'll get into the official intro and then we'll get started. Hopefully you guys are ready for action. If you're catching this on the replay, you know exactly what we're going to be reviewing here. Uh, so naturally, and also if you guys have uh, already contributed to the channel at some point throughout the stream, of course, you guys are going to find your names down in the description box below as official sponsors of the channel. For those of you guys catching it live naturally, um, you'll find the links in the description right now to do the exact same thing. So that's available to you there. So we can get you guys as official sponsors into the channel uh, as well. And again, greatly appreciate that. Love you guys immensely. You already know what it is. So we got e Ricard in the house. They're definitely a mod extraordinaire and just overall super positive peep in the community. Thank you so much for jumping on, E. It's great to see you. Uh, of course, Drew, we've got Critical e Eats Japan as well. Ride the Stunner, review something. It's coming. Calm down. <laughs> Let's see. Is it some cookies, Nehemiah? No, no cookies. No cookies. I'm a little cookied out from uh, the Oreo situations that we've had going here. As you guys know, uh, with the fudge covered and the uh, white chocolate and the white fudge and all that stuff there. So without a doubt, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely um, hold off on the cookies. But let's just get into it right now, guys, and we'll uh, we'll get into um, a little quickie thing I wanted to show you that I just realized of something that I just reviewed recently that I noticed um, that I probably should have put into the video, uh, but we'll have to see uh, what's going on uh, with this because I want to take a look and, and show you this here. I just noticed this literally today. I don't know why I didn't pick up on this when I reviewed this initially, but I'll show you something here. Uh, let's see here. Going down, my chat is jumping. Sammy. Whoa, Sammy, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that about uh, quitting the job at Wendy's there because of, uh, because of that situation there. Hopefully you can find, obviously, something that can just be a little bit easier at the same time. And as you're dealing with those things, hopefully this is going to be an escape for you right now as well. But I'm wishing you um, a lot of uh, happiness and health and actually to get past these things. I know exactly what you're uh, what you're going through with some of these things, believe me, it's been a little chaotic for the last couple of years for me here and there. Uh, but I can uh, I can appreciate that. And again, my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry to hear that uh, for sure for you. But without further ado, let's just get into it, guys. If you're happening across my channel, we're here with 47 peeps strong, only 23 thumbs up. So about halfway to that point there. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up down below, definitely light it up. Share the stream out with your friends. My name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. I create what I like to call high quality foodie features. And naturally, I have my own personal spin on how I do what I do. Um, but I definitely have a blast. And you guys right now are happening upon the live stream that we do more often than not Friday nights, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with an amazing group of people in the chat right over here. As you guys can see, um, from my side anyway, you're on, the, uh, on this side. So if you're watching it down below, you're seeing it stream there. So again, shout outs to you there. Shout outs to Mi Familia watching right now over out in the uh, the neighborhoods where they live. Uh, a lot of my close family who's watching right now as well. Love you guys immensely. Guadalupe, I reviewed the McRib three times. There is no need to revisit that one. Um, actually, way back in the day when I was starting my channel, I used to kind of redo the same items occasionally when they were coming out. 
Um, so I've kind of moved on past doing that type of thing. But at the same time, the last time I reviewed the McRib, it was actually a double. And that's the one you want to definitely check out. Um, it's posted up in the community tab here on my channel, as well as the McDonald's playlist. Take a look at that for sure. And of course, the return of the holiday pie um, as well, which I've had twice already right now, which is really pretty awesome. It goes amazing with their coffee. Hashtag unsponsored. I'm just telling you guys right now. So <laughs> really, really good stuff. Um, but do take a look at that for sure. Freddie Foodie King, shout outs to you, my friend. He's shouting out to at Extra Crispy. Thanks so much for jumping on here right now. So let's get into this right now. Critical, next is the Triple McRib. I'm thinking about it. I almost considered doing something just for fun on the stream tonight, um, but we'll have to see uh, what goes on there uh, with that. So we'll have to see there. But at the same time, you guys may have noticed my last review was on this guy, the Triple Treat Box. And I actually alluded to, when I filmed this one a few days ago, I kind of alluded to maybe saving you know, what it was. And actually the condition that it was in was actually pretty solid. And I was like, well, maybe I should just hold on to this real quick to show you guys. But one thing that I did notice on the bottom, literally, I just saw today. I don't know why I didn't pick up on this when I reviewed this, but on the very bottom of it is a little saying right over here. And if you guys take a look, no matter if you've been naughty or if you've been nice, the triple treat box comes with your favorite slice. But um bum <laughs> which is kind of cool actually so yeah this is a really cool little gift wrap box guys i have to say this was a lot of fun uh to put together and really it was just i think it's one of the one of the signature reviews i've done for pizza hut in a long time and there was a lot of fun to do there and naturally to try and coordinate that in my car was just half the fun of it um at the same time you know it's funny there was a comment actually for this video where people were asking uh, i think one, one individual was saying that you know that's too much food why wouldn't you just do this in your kitchen? Why didn't you just review this in your kitchen? And my quick response to it is simply because right off the top of my head was, where's the fun in that? <laughs> I mean, naturally, I don't know anyone who's reviewed this whole thing in a car, laid out and decked out with everything like that. And I figured, you know what? I want to do it that way. And that's exactly what I did. And this was a lot of fun to do. So the triple treat box from Pizza Hut, um, a lot of fun. If you haven't seen that review, definitely take a look. It is absolutely a fun, fun one. And uh, we're still kind of working on some of whatever's left over from that. But it was a lot of fun to check out uh, for sure. So let's see here. We have got, looks like 50 people in the house right now. 30 thumbs up. We're ready for it. All right. This was actually a request that I got online from one of, uh, one of, the, one of the peeps in the community. I've actually gotten a couple of requests for this. But you know what? I finally saw this in the store. I've been kind of casually looking for this. And I figured, you know what, this may be the time to do this right now. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. It is Lay's Flaming Hot Dill Pickle right over here. I have been avoiding taking a look at any reviews of this because I knew I wanted to try this eventually. But I am really digging the overall look of the package, guys. I mean, it's pickles. Come on now. You already know what it is. But obviously, they're really big on these things. So I love the whole faces. Let me see if I can try and pull back. The light is kind of blowing it out. And we'll try and get it up to about there, give or take. Well, it's right there in the middle right there. Lays flaming hot. But there it is. David P., boom, I knew it. We did some chips. We're doing some chips right now. You already know what it is. Food and conversations with e -Rock. Have you done Dirt Dog? Yes. Yes, I have actually. Uh, that's actually that was done a few months back, actually, earlier in the year when the endorsement was out here. Take a look at that. Uh, that was actually a very, very fun review to do as well. Let's see. Good times, good times. Almost to match the trips. Yes, the trips in the house as well. Pumping out that content also there. You guys have to take a look at the trips also. An amazing, amazing channel. Just a lots of fun, lots of fun personalities on that one there. But yes, I had to actually do this. I was really kind of on the fence with it. Um, only because I was like, you know what, it feels like this has been out for a little bit and I can't seem to come across where it is. After looking for a couple of spots, I found this at a local 7-Eleven, believe it or not. So um, kind of interesting with that, but at least we got it. So let's just get into this right now and see what this is. I'm going to let you guys take a look at it before I do. So take a look. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit there because I'm looking on the viewfinder. Oh, yeah. Strong pickle. Strong pickle on this. And it is dusted. I'm going to try and give you a look at this. We'll see if we can try and pull back and have it focus. It's probably not going to. Oh, OK, there we go. It had it for a quick second here. My lighting is just kind of blowing this out here. But let's give this a shot. The Flaming Hot Dill Pickle Flavored Lays. Let's do it. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Dill pickle action. Ooh, strong. Oh, hang on. Wow. That actually was a very heavily dusted chip. Hang on. Mmm. Yep. That's got some nice heat to it. Nice heat. Flaming hot dill pickle action, guys. That's actually really, really tasty. I had a feeling it was going to be. Only because, like I said, the pickle goodness that I'm used to from Lay's anyway, they make some pretty good pickle chips from the stuff they've had in the past. But with flaming hot on top of it, it's a nice combination already. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Drew. It's his favorite flavor from Lay's. I can see why. Derek Levesque, 7-Eleven is great. It's the only place I can ever find the Taco Bell Reaper Ranch chips. I found those at CVS, believe it or not. I couldn't find those in any stores. But CVS, for some reason, they had a display of those when I did that review back then. And it was funny because when I was checking out with that, somebody recognized me from my channel here who was working and actually called out really quick while he was doing his thing. So I was kind of caught off guard. It's a lot of fun, actually. But guys, these are really, really good. Quality is pretty nice. And I have to admit, it is uh, really, really good stuff. The trips, thank you for the kind words. Nothing but good things for good people always. Believe me, it is all about that positivity right there. You guys definitely, like I said, that exuberance and everything that you guys do on camera is really, really fun. So that's what it's all about. I'm really a super fan of that. And you guys definitely on the up and up for sure from the trips, without a doubt, guys. But Flaming Hot Dill Pickle... Let's go for one more, then we'll rate this one here. Very happy to have given this a shot. I literally found this today, very last minute, because I have something else I'm going to be doing later in the stream anyway. But I wanted to start off with this because I was super excited to give it a go. And hopefully, if you guys are liking this right now, let me see a cucumber over here in the chat. If you guys are digging what you're seeing here right now, or even if you're digging this flavor, if you've had it, let's see a cucumber here in the chat. I've already seen a few already here, but I'd love to see a cucumber, not the fire one. Just a straight cucumber. Let's see how many cucumbers we can light up the chat window here with. Mmm. Man. These are really good. Good call, Drew. Good call. Really, really good. There we go. We got some coming in there right now. Cucumber action in effect. Critical. We got Pablo. We got Derek. PB. Guadalupe. Very nice. I love calling you guys out. Freddy Foodie King. With the wink. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Armando Baron Gaming. Absolutely. These are really, really good, guys. Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go straight 9. Only because the pickle flavor really goes away quickly. And is a lot more flaming hot. This is heated. These are really, really heated. This actually feels like flaming hot. And considering... <coughs> oh, whoa. It is really strong. They're putting fire on that chip right there for a reason. That really is the dominant flavor. So I guess if anything is listed first, in this case, Flaming Hot is, that's what you're kind of got to really taste more dominantly. And unfortunately, the dill pickle is really drowned out by it. I like that, but I wish the pickle itself kind of stayed just a little bit longer. But guys, solid. Nine out of 10, easy recommendation. This is pretty awesome. And it's got a fun package right over here too, which is kind of nice. So really digging these guys. Nine out of 10. Mm. Pablo says you can't handle the heat. Not true. Not true. <laughs> Good times on that. Really, really tasty. Wow. Brandon, that's when the spice kicks in with that cough. Yes, it does, actually. But it got me right in the back of the throat, and it really kind of kicked. And that's when I coughed, and I was like, oh, here it comes. I got to try and get through saying what I'm saying here right now. But really, really good. Jay Loomis. You said it was a rock solid 9 out of 10. Yes, it is. Very, very good, actually. That is a really good chip. I had a feeling I was going to like it. Flaming Hot is not my all-time go-to. I mean, I like Flaming Hot, but the pickle flavors, pretty nice on the chips. They do a really good job with that uh, that dill oil. It's really, really good. Candace is loving the lights. I'm glad you're digging them. It's all about the holidays, all about spreading that good cheer and uh, having as much fun as possible. And believe me, be, just between you and me right now, all... 56 plus of you. It's all about as much niceties as we can have this holiday season. Um, I wanted to start this early. It was like early in November when I was doing this. So it's very important to do that. Let's just get through this dumpster fire a year and just kick it out the door on the 31st. And uh, we'll go from there, which by the way, I've already started on my top 10 
uh, reviews for this year. And I'm not going to be going by just view counts in terms of like what's the number one, two, three, four, all the way up to 10. I'm going to be going off of, and you guys have kind of been requesting this, you know, on and off whenever I do these every year from my own personal ones. So that's what we're going to be doing. My own personal uh, reviews um, that I've personally liked and what I think is the number one review that I've done for the year um, that you guys will see. One that I probably enjoyed putting together, one that was probably the most uh, effective, heavy, you know, whatever it is, I'm going to put those together and, and do that for you. So I've already started the process for that. And I'll be working on that in between my regular content, which is always in process. There's always something moving. Um, so we'll definitely do that for sure. So anyway, before we get into some more Q&A, and later on in the stream, we'll get into uh, this next review over here, uh, which should be something that some of you may guess, you may not. You know, we'll have to see. I know Drew tends to be a little clairvoyant uh, when it comes to guessing certain things. Freddie Foodie King says that it's Drew approved, and he gave it an 11 out of 11. Very nice. Appreciate that. And I appreciate the reminder from E, smashing that like button. Awesome stuff all around from all of you guys and all of you mods who are really doing it up right now. Thank you so much for, for doing what you do here on the stream. It is greatly appreciated. So, guys, with The Mandalorian being pretty much like ridiculously awesome this season, I mean, I was last week's episode with a, a, son, a son of Toko or a son of a Shakatano, <laughs> a Sakatano. Um, whatever, however the first pronunciation, I don't know why I'm screwing it up right now, but it was an awesome episode. Obviously, Michael Bean playing the Magistrate's uh, right-hand guy. Um, I'm not going to ruin anything with that there, but it was an amazing episode. They really kind of talked about a lot of things that we needed to hear, and uh, it was pretty awesome. And um, I wanted the reason why I'm bringing that up is because, obviously, let's see, Thomas, Mordell, when's the top 10 release? Usually towards the end of the month. I try and do that maybe like the last week of December. Um, that's really the right time to kind of do that there. So we'll um, you probably look for it towards the end of the month um, and you'll have it there available. It'll be the top 10 of my own personal reviews. It's going to be titled the same as it is every year. It's like the top 10 food reviews of 2020. You know, it'll be, it'll be called and then, you know, but naturally it's not going to be going by view counts. And when I look in analytics to kind of put that together, I want to go by what I'm personally liking. Um, and that's what you guys are going to see. So a couple of weeks ago, you guys may have remembered... I showed you one of the Mandalorian Amazon exclusive figures that was available. This is something that I picked up, and these are custom paints based upon the storyboards of the Mandalorian at the end of each episode when they're showing you the storyboards that the creators use when they're making the film or they're making the show. These are custom paint jobs. And I want to say about a half hour ago, there was a knock at my door for one of them, which actually that I was on pre-order as well. Um, but it seemed to have shipped a little bit later. And it's actually the one that makes the one that I was actually looking forward to the most out of it there. And that's obviously the Mandalorian himself. So Darren Jin right over there. Take a look. And if you notice the custom paint job on this particular one, it's based upon the storyboards for the show. And these are what you see at the very end, the uh, kind of like the prelim, the previs when they're kind of, you know, putting down how it's going to go. But I wanted to show you the new version of it there. And obviously it's got the Imperial credit. Uh, over here as well, too. It comes with that, but a really cool collectible, um, and obviously, it's got that classic Star Wars packaging. When I was a kid in the 80s, this is actually exactly how these packaging, these card cutouts looked on over here. So the Mandalorian um, is adopting that, and it's using Kenner, you know, over here, too, there. I mean, it's really classic looking, uh, the way that it looks here. So finally have this to go with it. Um, there's some other ones. They have some of the other characters in the show, but I'm not going to get crazy, because as you can see, I got craziness behind me over here, and it's kind of nutty um, at the same time. But I couldn't pass up the uh, Mandalorian and the Death Imperial Death Trooper because these, I think, are the coolest <laughs> looking out of them there. So really, really slick. And again, super fan of the show. I love this show. It literally blows the uh, sequel trilogy list out of the water. It really captures more of the essence of Star Wars, personally. Um, and I, I really can't wait to see where it's going to go with this there. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram, I actually got my sister, uh, the baby Yoda, the child, I guess, you know, Grogu, you know, before we knew what his name was. Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> but I got my sister the animatronic version of that. So if you want to see that one in action, it's actually a highlight on my Instagram profile over at Instagram, naturally. Just look for at Peep This Out Reviews, and uh, you'll see it there. But it was so fun um, just surprising her with that. And she literally was just like, you know, like, oh my God, I, why, why did you do this? That type of thing. I said, I didn't want to wait till Christmas because I opened up the box when I got it. And I was like, I can't keep him 
in here like this. It's rude. <laughs> so I got to give you the child. I got to give him to you. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see here. Derek Levesque, just noticed the chat isn't on the screen anymore. Temporarily, strictly because I've upgraded to the new Mac OS Big Sur and OBS is broken on it. So I don't have any of my templates. I don't have my environment that you're used to seeing. So this is YouTube's little quickie launch that I'm using on the portal. And, um, you know, it's kind of what we have to use right now. At least we have that. I wasn't going to cancel the streams naturally. So uh, very glad to have done that there. That's the only reason that you're seeing that for sure. Uh, the trips is saying to E-Ricard, Yoda says, do or do not. There is no try. There is no try, actually. <laughs> and you do. Yes. And uh, yes, actually, E-Ricard does. She is definitely dedicated for sure. And um, one, of, one of the cooler peeps in the community, without a doubt. <laughs> yes, new toys are always fun, E. Absolutely. And no, I do not open them, James. I guess I'm kind of like, um, you know, I guess uh, one of the uh, quote unquote adult collectors, I guess you can call them. So no, I don't take them out of the packaging. Uh, at all. Pablo, do you need a reservation for Disneyland? Originally, for certain things, you would need something reservation-wise, but right now Disney is closed, so uh, my pass is on hold, everything. I haven't been charged at all uh, for it, so it is what it is. Critical, hit that like button. This is the way. I appreciate you. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see here. What is this here from period? It's like a little period there. Can you ironically call me a good boy? <laughs> well, if I knew what your name was, I'd probably assume that you were because you're uh, you seem like you're you're OK <laughs> you're in the chat anyway. But thanks so much for jumping on. Uh, let's see. Armando, Dirty Dog Review. Yeah, that was back in that was early in February before one. Well, things were kind of nothing was really kind of known or publicly out there just yet. But it was kind of like in process. So, yes, that was earlier in the year uh, during that time. Uh, let's see here. Martin Luke Galvin. Yes, I've been to Frank and Sons. It's been many years, actually. When I was doing a lot of Spawn um, action figure collecting back in the day, um, I would go to Frank and Sons, and I would actually, I had a couple of buddies we would go there and, and get some good deals on Spawn action figures. Uh, Todd McFarlane, I've always been a huge fan, a huge comic fan, um, and Spawn naturally still going strong. Really, really awesome. Tons of awesome Mandalorian items there, of course, but no one's going anywhere right now. That's the only problem, so... It is what it is. How to drive in Oregon reviews. Thanks so much for jumping on. What's up, bro? Ate a jar and a half of pickles already. Man, do what you got to do. I'm not mad at you. Pickles are awesome. <laughs> Unless you're Ken Domig. I know my buddy Ken does not like pickles. Does not like pickles. Nehemiah, I missed last week's uh, from my grandmother's house was going to leave. My mom started talking to my sister. People I used to ever know the stream started. And my phone died. No worries. No worries. You're here now. That's all that matters. And I appreciate you. Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Thanks so much for jumping on. Another awesome content creator here you guys should be jumping on over to. Jackie also live streams as well. Uh, while I was getting ready for this, I had you on in the background, Jackie. Uh, I know you were on earlier tonight. So good times uh, over at Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Doing your thing over there for sure. Um, while I'm usually setting up, just so you guys know, before I begin my stuff on Saturdays or Friday nights at 8 o'clock, um, there's a lot of stuff around me that you guys see off camera that I'm always moving around. So it was a lot of fun. You know, I usually have either a podcast. I usually have some of, you know, whenever Trav does live streamings from Trav Tries, if you guys are familiar from one of the review crew, um, he usually does some live streaming stuff there. And I usually listen to those streams, um, like podcasting a little bit there while things are running. And that's in between some of the stuff I do for my own content. Whenever I'm taking breaks from editing and things like that, I'll have things running in the background. Um, as well. So like I said, we have an amazing group of community peeps that definitely do the do. Jackie Hero Food Reviews is one of them. Obviously, Trav tries. We've got a many others. Um, I love the aspect of creators who embrace the live streaming format because it's a way to connect with your base. It's a way to kind of, you know, let people know how you feel about them directly. Um, it gets harder and harder to type back, you know, comments and, and replies and stuff on, on videos, especially when you're creating all the time. And as you get bigger and bigger and bigger, you feel like you want to kind of answer as many as you can as well. But then you realize, and I, I can understand that now because I, I remember some of the bigger creators that I would follow would usually say, it's hard to kind of do that because you constantly, you're always moving on to the next piece of what you want to do. So you, occasionally you go back and you type some stuff. Not everybody's looking for a comment from you, but naturally it's nice to acknowledge at least with a heart if you can. But I like to type back um, and give it a little bit of that personal, you know, exposure in that way as well, which is fun. So 
Um, but again, great content creators that are always putting out content, and it's really, really awesome to see. Critical East Japan, case in point, um, just really awesome stuff. If you want to see some amazing things on the other side of the planet over in Japan, some really cool stuff over there. Paul definitely does it up there, and uh, is a pretty, pretty rocking musician on top of it. Um, I'll let you figure out the rest <laughs> when you jump to his channel. Uh, but Jackie Hero as well, thank you so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Uh, Debbie Thompson, love the reviews and keeping it frosty. You have a lovely situation for us. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. All of you guys. You already know what it is. Sometimes I feel like I get too preachy by telling you how much I love you guys. But like I said, I'm serious. And what you see is what you get. I'm just trying to be genuine about, you know, and just convey it to you guys. So hopefully it's um, it's not too mushy, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, let's see. Pablo, can you use your Disney Fast Pass so you don't have to be stuck in line for an hour? For certain rides, you can. Absolutely, for certain rides. Uh, let's see. When is the McDonald's chicken sandwich coming out? Early 2021, from what I'm hearing. So my guess is probably either going to be, it could be sometime next month. It could be later into the month. It could be February. But when they say early, a lot of people assume, oh, it's January 1. <laughs> I don't think it's that, but we'll have to see what happens. Um, but we'll see. There's actually another chicken sandwich that you're going to see here on my channel here, probably sometime over the weekend, if not Monday, um, that I've been kind of plugging away on. So you'll probably, um, you know, you'll probably see that ahead of McDonald's, uh, if anything, if you guys have this particular place in your area, but you'll see it. So uh, a little bit of a, a tease for you. Chris C., what it do, what it do. Thank you. Thanks so much for jumping on, man. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for, uh, for being part of the community here. 66 amazing peeps strong here right now. 42 thumbs up. If you guys haven't smashed that like button, definitely do so. Anyone who may have contributed to the channel on PayPal, I'm not going to know any of that until after the fact. But thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys will find your names down below in the description box. Of course, uh, I, just, I wish I had some type of notification here to link to that. That would be awesome. Andrew, super chat donation. I appreciate you. Jason Voorhees is a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's terrible what happened to him. Terrible what happened to him uh, back at Camp Crystal Lake. I probably should have been wearing that shirt tonight. <laughs> but I love bats. So, you know, I got to do what I got to do. But Andrew, thanks so much for contributing to the channel. I uh, appreciate you greatly. And of course, you are finding your name down below in the description because if you're catching us on the replay, it is there right now. Jackie, no McRib in Canada. Wow. You know, they announced it was going to be nationwide here in the U.S. for the first time since 2012. I remember when that actually came out. Um, it was a, literally a year before I started my channel, actually. Well, I started in 2013, so that's process of elimination. But um, when I did the reviews, when I started my channel, naturally, it was the next year. And I did that like a couple of years after. And then I finished it with the double McRib um, as well. But I know, um, you know, like I said, it's a huge thing right now to have it out across the country everywhere. The marketing looks pretty slick. Um, going through the drive through when I was getting my holiday pie, which like I said earlier, I've done twice now. Uh, and it's definitely a, a delicious situation there. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think they've gotten just a little bit smaller. Um, but hey, I'm not going to hate on it for a buck. And if you if you decide to make it a meal here in Southern Cali, it's a buck 50 for two. So one is all you need. Trust me, one is all you need. But um, yeah, that's crazy. No McRib in Canada. I guess maybe uh, right after the, we're done here in the US, it's probably going to be for about a month. Um, and then hopefully we'll see it back up a year away, um, Jackie, if anything there. But if you decide to go down into New York or go down into like, you know, right down into the States as close as you can, um, if it's worth it, I mean, I think it would be a fun trip. But given the situation with um, around the country right now, maybe a little bit of a, a harder thing to do, you know, but, you know, hopefully you can uh, you can experience it at some point during the holiday season there, Jackie, really. It's uh, it's a pretty tasty situation. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Andrew just had my first McRib ever. Very good. Nice. It's delicious stuff. I mean, it's really, it's, it's ground pork. It's whatever they put into it there. It's not pink goo. Um, just the right amount of tanginess in the sauce. I mean, it's really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I got to tell you. Let's see. E. Ricard, are you saying it would be worth the trip <laughs> with a wink? If you can do it safely, E, if you can do it safely and it's not too, too far. Um, here on the West Coast right now, we have a crazy lockdown situation going on and it's really uncomfortable how crazy serious it is here. And, you know, wearing my mask and doing what I'm doing, it's, um, you know, it's it's really, it's been difficult. But thankfully, the way that I do my stuff, um, I have very little interaction with like people except from just picking things up, whether it's curbside, whether it's, 
you know, doing things like that very carefully. So it's it's something that hopefully we can get past a lot quicker than um, than it's been going. It feels like it's been forever. But um, yes, I would say it kind of is worth the trip if you can do it safely, if you can do it safely. Uh, Pablo, you can book a flight to Walt Disney World. You know, I went there for my honeymoon with the wifey when we got married about five or so years ago at this point. Um, and I don't want to do any flying of any type just yet. Not the time yet. Not the time yet. Derek Levesque, where's that holiday pizza box? I don't see it on the wall. You know, that's a good question because I don't know where I'm going to put this, D. Where am I going to put this thing? <laughs> my wife is like, are you seriously going to keep this? I mean, then she looks over at the wall. She's like, seriously? Where are you going to put it? I don't know. We'll have to find a spot. I mean, maybe some of the open spots in the back. I have no idea, but um, I like this thing. I really do. It's just really, really cool. Considering it's $22.99, I'm keeping this for a little while. <laughs> okay? I mean, come on. I got to keep it for a little while. But it was a lot of fun to um, to do. But your guess is as good as mine right now, D. I'm not sure uh, where I'm going to be doing this just yet. Uh, Oregon reviews. I really like when you say peep this out in the drive thru. Yes, it's been a while since I've actually done that because I've done a couple of curbside things from Shake Shack. I did their hot dog, which I actually had to do. For those of you who don't know, uh, Shake Shack started out as a hot dog cart way back in the day in Manhattan, New York. Um, so I had to do since they've opened up here locally in Pasadena, um, which they actually do have a black truffle burger that's over in Glendale right now. So I'm kind of teetering back and forth. I'm wanting to go do that. The only problem is it's crazy busy in that area and the way things are right now it's a little a little sketchy in terms of just being comfortable doing that so i don't i haven't really ruled it out but then i've been doing a couple of shake shack things already this week um the last couple of weeks with the veggie shack um i did as well as the hot dog so um if i can get to that i'll see if i can you know for right now but it's only in glendale which is the next few cities over from where i live it's not far that's where i was doing my reviews before but um, like I said, it's kind of sketch city in terms of um, getting on to uh, that area and for Glendale. We'll have to see. Liam Donafi, what it do, man? Great to see you on, dude. It's been a long time. Thanks so much for jumping on, man. Hopefully you're doing okay out in your neck of the woods there. You're not too far from me over here. It is crazy situations here in uh, Southern Cali. Bob Price. Let's see. Hi from Chicago. Jealous of all the food you can get in California and we can't get in Illinois such as in and out Yeah, but you know, you have some things out your way that I would love to check out. Believe me, and probably if you're not too far from like Culver's, Bojangles, any of those places there. I've seen so many reviews from a lot of other creators over the years and I've always wanted to try like a butter burger. You know, some of these things that you guys have, for what, you know, what a burger actually as well. Um, if you guys have that out your way, but yes, in and out is definitely um, a guilty pleasure and it's just a lovely situation <laughs> all the time, but Colorado's got one. So I guess that's a little bit closer. It's a little bit of a ways, but it's closer, right? So good times, but uh, thanks so much for jumping on, Bob. I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for checking in from Chicago over there right now for you. It's about 1138 uh, and, and uh, counting there. So I appreciate you just before the witching hour jumping on. Uh, let's see. Baller. Yes. What an expensive hot dog, man. That was, that was such a downer from that $6 and 18 cents. I think it was six dollars, six eighteen. I think that was when I filmed that and it was just like not worth that at all. And, uh, I got a little bit of, you know, some backlash from people because I said, you know, I can go to Costco right down the street about 10 minutes from me. I think I said, and it was like for a buck 50, you can get a foot long, you know, it, keep in mind, it's a Kirkland signature dog. It is what it is. It's a boiled dog, which is fine. Um, for a buck fifty, but still, it's way more satisfying, you know, and much less for your wallet as well as just overall satisfying in general because it's a larger, larger meal. But um, I guess some people didn't like that I mentioned Costco. But hey, look, I, it, I had to go there. I, any hot dog that's six dollars and change, I expect to be at Dodger Stadium getting a Dodger dog or something of that, you know, at a sports arena or something like that. You expect to pay prices that are a premium at those places. But Shake Shack for their burgers, I mean, the burgers are delicious, but even still. Seven, eight dollars is what you're getting into in and out. You know, it's like three dollars and like four bucks for a double double here. Um, it's hard. It's hard to kind of justify it. So but the deliciousness of it is really what does sell it. Naturally, there's a huge fan base and I'm, I'm a huge fan of Shake Shack. I mean, I love the products. It's great. And I'll review more of them as time goes by. You'll see more. But at the same time, um, six dollars and 18 cents for for a dog like that. It, it was just OK, but not for that amount of money. So, yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Armando, have you collabed with Reckless Eating? Yes, in the past, actually, a couple of times. Um, there was uh, the Whopperito, 
which I did actually with uh, with Matt at the time. And let's see, there was also a chicken sandwich. No, it was like a, it was something um, a Texas. It was a burger. It was a burger that we did back in the day. It was one of like early on in the history of my channel. I remember um, at the time, but there was a couple of instances in there as well. But yeah, reckless eating. Um, Mad Zion, definitely cool peeps over there for sure. Always holding it down, always putting out that uh, that fun stuff and the, the fun streams as well. Um, you guys obviously know him. You should be jumping on over. Uh, tell him Ian K sent you if you haven't been there in a minute. It is definitely, definitely some cool peeps. Uh, let's see. Did you ever try to recreate any of those fast food burgers and sandwiches on your own? No, no, I never do. Never do. Never, never do. I always like to review just what's out there because naturally that's what most of you guys can get. So, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, let me see here. What else do we got here? Trip says in and out is on the bucket list. Yes, it very well should be. <laughs> Liam, I'm doing OK, man. We're trying to do what we can here with the situation. It's been a rough year all around. So, um, yeah, man, it, it is what it is. Hope you're doing OK, too, brother. Wishing nothing but love and happiness to all of you guys this holiday season, wherever, uh, whatever life has in store for you, whatever you're doing right now, um, just try and make the most of your situations. Don't think about what you don't have. Think about all that you do. Um, and it's just very important to, um, to keep that mindset as much as possible. It's hard sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I have, I have days like where I'm like, I don't think like that, but um, lately, I've been kind of distracting myself with a little bit of The Last of Us Part Two. Whenever I start feeling that grind come over, uh, which, by the way, if you guys haven't played The Last of Us in general on PS4, the thing is flat out amazing. Um, the, the sequel I just started. I'm about maybe not even maybe a couple of hours in at the most right now. So very in the very beginning, but man, it is fantastic. I mean, it, it's incredible graphics and the story. The acting, it's like you're in a cinematic movie, which they're doing it actually. Uh, HBO is doing a series for The Last of Us. Uh, super excited. Super excited. Uh, let's see here. Poppy Eats. Poppy, what it do, man? Thanks so much for jumping on. Great to see you on here right now. Another awesome content creator in the community, up and coming, doing his thing, having a lot of fun. Loving the festive lights. I appreciate you, brother. I'm glad you're digging it right now, man. It's all about keeping that positivity and that holiday spirit alive for all of us here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to change it to after the new year. I may go back to the blue. <laughs> maybe I just won't have it as blue. I'll maybe do like a combination of blue and white or something like that. But um, yeah, we'll have to see. But guys, Poppy Eats, jump on over, like, share, comment, subscribe, of course. Um, he's definitely having fun. He does like the vloggy food review stuff and he's, you know, for deals and all kinds of fun stuff. And you know, if you're looking for a PS5, possibly, <laughs> you may be able to help you. Um, there is some definitely, uh, definitely cool stuff, uh, cool stuff coming from Poppy Eats for sure. And and come on, I mean, look at the name, Poppy's Poppy Eats. I mean, I know I always kind of write it into the ground every time I say it, but he's a he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Uh, deserves the deserved it for his hate of poutine. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see who else we've got in here. We're going to jump into the next review in just a couple of minutes here. We'll see if you guys can guess what it is. You know what I've been doing lately? And this is kind of interesting. Do you guys know who David uh, Portnoy or Portnoy is or El Presidente? The guy who does like, you know, one bite, everybody knows the rules from a sports book. Uh, David Portnoy, I think his name is. El Presidente. He's all over Facebook whenever I'm like doing my thing, the way they recommend all of these things here. But if you guys are uh, familiar with him, um, El Presidente, yes, he is seriously just the attitude with that guy, that back east attitude. I'm from New York originally, and I, my family, you know, is a little hardcore with some of it. So that personality, I'm very well aware of. Um, but the way that he just, you know, you know, hey, all right, Frankie, you know, this is the whole thing, the way he gets into it and the people that give him crap all the time on the street. Um, it's too much that, that is really, really, yeah, it's just too much. And the pizzas all look amazing. I don't know how he doesn't literally, you know, tens and tens and tens for a lot of these things here, but I get why he does what he does. Um, but it's awesome. I've been watching so many of those episodes late at night. Um, and they're all over Facebook, which is pretty awesome. So Liam, once the pandemic's over, we got to get catch up. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. If you're still over in Glendale, you already know what it is. Poppy Eats, thanks for the plug. No more PS5s over here. Okay, all right. No worries. No worries. Still subscribe to Poppy Eats. Still subscribe. <laughs> He's a good dude. But um, 
Yeah, lots of um, lots of pizza reviews. Um, and, you know, literally, I love pizza. You guys know, I mean, it's one of my favorite foods and uh, my wife knows it. And I'm always asking, are we going to go to Dominico's here in Pasadena, um, which we haven't done in a while. So we may have to do that. So, uh, you know, pizza is just they, they look amazing. And when I live back east in New York, you know, Ray's Pizza, Lorenzo's Pizza, I would love to go to East Village Pizza. They're all over Instagram. I follow and I watch all those things. Um, I've been doing a lot of, of those types of video watching lately. Um, I've been on social media, but I've been kind of like kind of giving myself a break slightly as well, too. So I like watching a lot of the newer things that I'm seeing there. And a lot of these places I would love to go check out. Once the pandemic is over, I would love to go to NY, uh, go back to my hometown, check some things out. I haven't been there literally in about, gosh, about nine years now, actually, since I last went back 2011. So I would love to go back and, uh, and do some reviews um, now, because things are so much different, um, I think it would be kind of fun to have some of those videos in my portfolio. I'd love to do that there. So good times coming there, hopefully down the road once we all move on here. Snack King Cole, I think I saw you in the chat over here. Let me see. Yep, there he is. Snack King Cole. He's got snacks in his bag. Thanks so much for jumping on, brother. Definitely cool peep as well. Another uh, review crew member in the house. Shout outs to uh, Dayton from the Dayton Live Show. Tell him, give him my best. Tell him I said hello. He is a good dude. And yes, E, I appreciate you jumping in there with the uh, links to the trips. Absolutely. And Poppy doing it as well, too, over there. So all of you guys watching here right now, all 63 of you who are watching, that could be the difference for helping some people cross their subscription milestones as well. And a lot of people have. Um, so it's definitely appreciated. Jump on over there and uh, like, share, comment and subscribe. One peep, everybody knows the rules. You know, I've always kind of thought about if I were to do like a little mock something like that, I would be like, you know, peep this out. Everybody knows the deal. Or something like that. But I don't want to be accused of like taking somebody's stuff, you know, like that, because, you know, I've got to be original. But I like the way the guy just comes out, you know, very that the swagger he's got, he's flossed out with his threads and he comes out, you know, with his pizza and he's got the boxes, flips it open, he shows it to you. It's just very, you know, it's just, it's just fun to watch. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Clearly, he knows what he's doing. Let's see. Snack and Cole. Ian said he was doing a second in the stream. Yes, I got another review coming up. Literally, I think we should just get into it right now. And I think somebody may have guessed what I'm going to do here. Let me see here. Well, Pablo kind of alluded to it there. So let's just jump right on into it. Do another potato chip review. So let's just finish it out. And I'm going to honor your request because you know what? You had no idea I was going to do this until right now, Pablo. But there you go. Let's do it. Lay's hot sauce chips with Frank's Red Hot right there, guys. So very excited to do this. If you guys remember, I did the reason I'm doing this naturally is because I did a Frank's Red Hot Chicken Sandwich from Fat Burger way back in the day. Um, they actually liked it so much, they sent me a bunch of stuff from Red Hot. And I actually received, you know, I still have actually, I haven't even opened this up yet, believe it or not, for the Red Hot, because I, I like the idea that it's coming directly from them. So as a souvenir memento uh, there at the same time. But Take a look at Lay's hot sauce in there as well. Derek thinks it's going to be another Oreo flavored Pringles. Nope. <laughs> Let's see. Freddie says, don't do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll have to see what's going on with this one here. Jackie, yes, yeah, share your link, please. Absolutely. All of you awesome content creators, definitely share the links to your channels there. I am more than okay with that. I am not about, you know, I'm all about, you know, trying to help at the same time. If you guys run to you know, rep whatever your latest project is, whatever you think you have coming up, whatever it is that you want to do, this is the time to do it uh, in there as well. So I appreciate you guys as well. Pablo, do not worry. This live stream is going to be up on Sunday because my next review will be out tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're watching this right now in the replay, um, it's already happened. So it was probably out yesterday, <laughs> just so you know. But I'm going to have the stream out most likely on Sunday at some point during the day. Um, you may see another review on Sunday, possibly. I'm not going to guarantee it, um, but I'm almost done with one that you're going to want to see. I have a strong feeling, uh, so we'll have to see about that. That could be just a fun Sunday for you at the same time. Uh, Joel Nepper, what it do, man? Thanks so much for jumping on. Yes, take a look at this. Lay's Hot Sauce Flavored Chips, my friend. Frank's Red Hot. Really, really amazing stuff. And Joel, just a huge shout out to you as well for all your support for the channel, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart as well. I'm one of the awesome supporter of the channel. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But guys, hot sauce flavored. Is this going to be different than Flaming Hot? Naturally, I think it's going to be because with the Frank's Red Hot name, this could be a serious situation here. Apparently, 
Freddie says these are fire right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're going to have to see what's going on here with this right now. And again, all the links you guys are seeing in the chat, make sure you jump on over to like, share, comment, and subscribe to them and say that you saw them on Ian K's stream from Peep This Out. That would be awesome. <laughs> all right. I'm going to let you guys take a look at this first. And before I do this, this flavor is Meet the Smile. I guess the girl that's on here right now, before I even take a look at this, her name is April. Her organization is Breast Cancer Can Stick It. It absolutely can. Uh, they've raised awareness and nearly $300,000 in funds to fight breast cancer through music-minded events that were fueled by her experience as a breast cancer survivor and professional drummer. That's awesome. That is awesome. If you want to talk motivation right there and good things for good people always, this is an amazing thing. God bless her for doing her thing. And also, just so you know, where are my manners here? Dr. Jen. Let's do this real quick here. This is actually Dr. Jen from the Flaming Hot Dill Pickle. She is using her experience as the first female coach in the NFL. Dr. Jen continues to be a catalyst for change, empowering thousands of girls across America to follow their dreams and challenge stereotypes through the, uh, the Griffdarian. Uh, oh, the Grit Griffdarian. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just butchered that. Her Gridiron Gertz Football Camps Griffdarian. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Gridiron uh, Girls Football Camps. That's awesome right there. So... Really, really cool getting to know the smile of who this is. But I got to admit, for April, that is awesome. But let's get into this, guys. Take a look. The nondescript chip. Take a look. Chris C says he hates, he hates Frank's Red Hot. We'll have to see. It's a hot sauce situation. You already know what it is. Trip says get a side of milk. You know what? Today's beverage of choice is just a little agua. So hopefully we'll see how this goes. Avoid the flavor, says Pablo. So we'll see here. But hot sauce flavored. Frank's Red Hot doesn't smell as hot as the Flaming Hot Dill Pickle, actually. Let me see if I can grab a good one here. Let's see what we've got. Nope. Some of these are kind of small. Well, this is okay, I guess. Take a look. I mean, it's dusted. Let me see if I can try and bring this up so you guys can kind of see. There you go. Kind of focused in. Take a look. Standard chip, fried goodness. These are definitely not baked, but that's okay. Here we go. The hot sauce flavored Frank's Red Hot. Laced, laced potato chips. Let's do it. Brian, take care, my friend. Oh. That's a creeper heat initially. And then, oh. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. Let's keep going. Mm. The vinegar is strong on this. But the burn creeps. It's trying. The flaming hot was actually hotter. This is like a heavy vinegar chip, to be honest. I mean, it's Frank's Red Hot, so it has like that vinegar type burn to it. But I know it's kind of contrasty. It's not really coming through. But these are not bad. These are not bad. How much vinegar do you taste? I'm tasting a lot of vinegar, actually, on this. It's strong. As soon as you go into it, you're getting that bitterness. The vinegar really creeps in. And then the burn begins to kind of proliferate up slightly there. It's nothing crazy, though. I mean, it's Frank's Red Hot Original. It's okay. But... May the force be with you as well, Jill Nepper. You already know. I can't wait to watch The Mandalorian later on tonight. I can't wait to watch the new episode. Guys, this is a little bit of a dud. I gotta be honest, in terms of the hot sauce. It's okay. The flaming hot just kills this in terms of the heat. I thought initially it was coming up there and then it just it was pretty much gone. And as I'm eating it, I mean some of the residual is still there. Yeah, the vinegar is strong in these chips. It is, Drew. It is. Force is strong with this one, too. <laughs> Gross to me. Go to Starbucks. You know what? I've already had my um, my Irish cream. That actually was out here about a week and a half ago. I've been getting that back on the menu over here. And I got to say, it is delish. That is delish. E. Ricard says, just give me the salt and vinegar. I'm right there with you, E. But you know what? Elizabeth, for a little bit of heat, though. It has it. It's just very, very light. So 
The name brand, it really does taste like they're using the actual product. The sauce is definitely laced up in these chips. But I think they're, I think, you know, to be honest, Elizabeth, I think they are using the salt and vinegar as a base uh, for it there. Because, I mean, why not, you know, make it easier on themselves to produce it? Because they already produced the salt and vinegar chip. They probably just add a little bit of the formulated hot sauce, like, you know, pepper, you know, the spray, whatever they do on this for the powder uh, to give you this here. But this is not, this is not super hot. The hot sauce is not really, um, not really, it's like not really pronounced. The vinegar is, and that's the thing. So they could have called this salt and vinegar, you know, heated salt and vinegar or spicy salt and vinegar, and it would have been the same thing. But this is what you're paying for right there. So for the Frank's Red Hot, it is what it is. So I'm not hating it. As you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm going in on it, just a few of them here. But the Flaming Hot Dill Pickle is the jam. Nothing against Dr. Jen. I mean, I'm a huge fan of dill pickle, but this is way hotter uh, for what this is. So obviously, this is going to be the one that's going to take it right tonight. I mean, nine out of 10 for this is an easy. This one, I'm probably going to go seven and a half. I mean, it's just OK. That may be a little bit high, um, but it's way above average. I mean, it's a delicious chip. I'm going to finish this bag. The wifey's going to have some, too. I know it. So not horrible, but seven and a half out of this, um, only because, like I said, um, hot sauce flavor there's really nothing that they're showing here like fire on the chips maybe that should tell you it's not going to be you know crazy but frank's red hot with the red hot name you think it's going to be just a little bit more you know in your face like that and what's in your face mostly is the vinegar so that's the thing if you like vinegar you're gonna dig these and just like e when uh elizabeth was saying about just give me the salt and vinegar chip i'm right there with you but this is just a little spicier version of that so decent definitely decent not bad. Not bad at all. Chris says he supposes that's why I don't care for Frank's Red Hot. More vinegar for me. Still love the vids and live feed and the live feed, D and K. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you very much. Ben Nguyen, what's going on? Great to see you. We've got everybody interacting in the chat. Nehemiah, what's for dinner tonight? You know what? I'm going to be probably be heating up some leftovers. I cook some Angus beef in a pan with some tomato sauce and we have some pasta a little bit of a uh, shredded italian cheese and uh, i'm probably going to be making a little bit of something there just to kind of wrap up um, one of the reviews for the weekend which i'm i'm thinking it's probably going to be finished for sunday i'm thinking um so we'll have to see here um but at the worst case scenario you'll have the new video coming out tomorrow 12 p.m pacific standard time i don't want to say it's holiday theme but when you see it it'll kind of fit exactly what it is um, so I think it'll make sense for you. Um, but 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as always, I was uh, checking out a little bit of an earlier time and I decided to go back to my normal time uh, for you guys. So everything is uh, based upon what YouTube was telling me. Uh, so we're back to the normal schedule for you guys. And I know that if Paul is still watching from Critical East Japan, he's like, it didn't matter to me anyway, because it's the middle of the night <laughs> when I would release it back over there. So Paul, shout outs to you, man. Homie hugs for sure. And I appreciate you checking it no matter what time of the day you come across. Uh, my content, I appreciate you uh, for sure. Uh, but then, uh, so we'll see with that. And then this stream tonight, um, if you're watching this on the replay right now, it's probably either on Sunday in the 12 p.m. time frame or uh, later on in the day for uh, obvious reasons if another review comes out um, on Sunday. So you very well could be having a pretty packed weekend of goodies. I have a feeling uh, if this goes the way that I'm thinking. So we'll see what happens uh, with that uh, for sure. But another few minutes, guys, we're already rounding out the very end of the stream already here. I'll be on for another maybe 10 minutes or so. Let's see here. Derek Levesque, all the contest flavor Lay's chips taste like sour cream and cheddar to me. Yep. Poppy, salt and vinegar. Kettle chips looked all, look all day and I can't uh, taste things anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I mean, it's like one of the most popular chips I think that Lay's puts out there, Poppy. So... You know, it's like the base for like a lot of things that that's in their their portfolio. So I have a feeling that's what that is there. So we'll have to see uh, what happens, what they do down the road. Yes, I've done the pizza flavored Pringles, Pablo. That was actually done in my car a while back. Uh, we were on the stream with that. Take a look at the um the live stream uh, the stream uh, reviews playlist, the live stream replay playlist, I should say, and you'll see that in there. And as we're winding this down here, guys, let me say for those, of, again, for those of you who have contributed to the channel, you guys will find your names down below in the description box as always. 
I can't wait to um, to list all of you guys over there. And again, like I said, you guys definitely make the world go round. Bus 7332, catching the tail end of the chat. Work on Friday, so I missed the chats. No worries, my friend. Thank you so much for jumping on. My trip departs at 8 p.m. No worries. I'm glad that you're on here. And now, thankfully, you guys have the replays that I'll put up for you uh, as well, so you can always catch it on the replay. Um, but Buzz, I hope you're doing okay. I hope everything is going all right. I'm looking forward to getting back to uh, Disney at some point. I know downtown Disney District is open, um, but I just can't bring myself to go just yet with the wifey and our passes. It hasn't been, you know, everything is frozen right now still. Everything is just crazy. So uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But Buzz7332, another longtime supporter, an amazing guy. Um, and I appreciate you. You know, even the Donut Man right now is closed down from what I understand because of our curfew here. Anything after 10 o'clock is closed. So um, it is crazy. But hopefully, Bus, if you saw that, hopefully uh, you saw what I said there. And uh, if not, the replay has it for you <laughs> at the same time. Game Day Chili Chips. Yes, I saw that, Drew. Coming soon. Good stuff there. Anyone here see the uh, Lady Gaga Oreo? That looks pretty cool, too, actually. Uh, I, I was really kind of surprised. To see that uh, she was actually uh, putting out in this stuff for here. So I think we're, as we're rounding it out here, hopefully this is not going to be too bad. So flaming hot in here right now. And that is definitely uh, being uh, done for the day here. I think it's this one. So if you guys are catching this right now still, I apologize for any connection issues that you're having. Let's just end it off here just for right now. And uh, we will go... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> until uh, for the weekend here and then obviously for the next stream there. So, guys, with that, it's ENK closing out the live stream officially for December 4th, guys. We're into the month of December. Let's just do this right now. And uh, I can't wait to uh, see where this month is going to take us. Plenty of content coming your way, of course. And uh, we'll definitely do what we got to do. Ed, jumping in with the Super Chat donation at the very end. Ed, thank you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I uh, apologize for anything that you guys are seeing right now. Connection-wise, it's a little rough at the moment as we're finishing this out. Thankfully, it's at the end and not any time during the beginning and the, uh, the middle there. So I appreciate you guys greatly. Thanks so much for jumping on. Again, I hope this stream finds you guys healthy and happy or as happy as you can be right now. Anywhere you are watching this in the world, I appreciate you greatly. And uh, we will definitely talk to you soon again in this review. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, December 5th. We'll have this replay available on Sunday which will be uh, either at 12 p.m. on Sunday or probably later in the day, maybe like at 6 o'clock or so, 5 or 6, depending uh, if I get my uh, my other one finished there for you guys, just because I'm trying to move things off my laptop to get ready for what's coming here. So it should be a lot of fun. But guys, again, thank you so much for doing what you do. Again, jump over to the content creators that you've seen featured here in the chat all over the place. Hit those links. Catching this on a replay, hit those links as well. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, just don't ask Poppy Eats for a PS5 because they're out. <laughs> just so you guys know. Guys, take care of yourselves, and I will definitely talk to you soon. And again, my heart goes out to each and every one of you guys uh, from e &K. From me to you, it is uh, all about you know the familia that we have here on the channel. So stay frosty, and I will definitely talk to you soon. And uh, we will rock it out. So guys, with that, we are out of here. See ya. Peace.